Okay guys, welcome back to Kicking It With The Canards. Today we have an Aldi grocery haul with you. I want you to guess the total that we spent of everything. I'll show you down in the comments and see how close you get. We needed to stock up on a good bit of things, snacks, produce, some meats. Keenan is doing carnivore, that he's only eating meat and like animal products. Basically just like meat and eggs. He eats a ton of eggs. I've been buying the big pack at Sam's Club, like the seven and a half dozen. We've been going through that in like a week pretty much, or maybe a little over a week. And I didn't go to Sam's today. I might just go there for a couple things of eggs, but I got four dozen eggs at Aldi. I'll show you that. Um, I feel like this grocery haul is semi healthier we got some snacky foods but we've been really trying to do like a lot of more fruits vegetables and like nuts we have a ton of trail mix we've been pretty slim picking so i'll show you our pantry i'm trying to cook more at home so like got a couple things to supplement with meals but here's our snack cabinet we barely like i mean this is like empty this is all random like ends of crackers and stuff trail mix a cereal that couldn't fit up at the top and then these are empty that's empty it's like mainly just nuts this is everything that we got at Aldi <laughs> yeah. and then there's some stuff over here Cameron's loot and then some snacks okay so I'm gonna start with the snack foods that we got and then Cameron's loot and then I'll show you the healthy healthy I should start with the healthy stuff but you know so I got some stuff that Kaysen can also eat. Vanilla wafers, these cheese crackers, and then these like also cheese ones, these turtles baked things. Um, he'll eat those. They had these Mexican street corn chips. Those looked really good. Um, I got white cheddar puffs. He literally likes those. Kylie found these keto coconut clusters. We are trying to eat like more keto type stuff. So she got those. Um, and some, we got a bunch of dried fruit, so we got dried pineapple. I feel like these actually, though, have a lot of sugar. Yeah. These have 36 grams of sugar for a third cup. Wow. That was an oversight. But, I mean, dried fruit. These dried, dried apples are actually, um, taste really good. We ate, like, almost the whole bag in the car. Some dark chocolate covered freeze dried strawberries to try. Um, I got these for Keenan. some beef, I don't know if he loves beef jerky, so I just got like this kind for him, and then these, um, beef sticks are really good, so I got those for him, and then we got some veggie straws, Kaysen really likes these, and he loves the applesauce, so I got the plain applesauce, and then the, um, multi-pack, which is the unsweetened strawberry, and then banana. This is the stuff Cameron wanted. I don't know. He wanted this cheese. I know it's crap cheese, but we like never buy that. I, he wanted that. Some bubble gum, some pineapple fruit cup thing. This stuff we like rarely buy. Slim Jims, all right. And then these cheese curl things, so. Okay, guys. I found this pineapple, and I want to do the viral pineapple. the bottom and it's sprouting on the bottom yeah so that she got that for that okay I got it. yep okay so we got some juices um oh i forgot the ice cream this is the good keto ice cream we found it was like 389 or something there cookie dough so we'll try that these mango mochis looked really good too i love mochi we got mango juice that looked good and one thing of orange we should have got more but I got a bunch of other juice because Keenan, he is still drinking some juice. He just really likes juice. So I got two things of crayon apple and then two things of crayon grape. Um, we got a bunch of ground turkey. I got three of these because I use those. I don't like use ground beef that much. So I use these. I got another one of one of these beef shaved steak and I wanted to make like a cheesesteak pasta and then I realized that's not going to be enough for like him just eating meat. So I picked up another one there at Aldi. Got two bags of shrimp um, for whatever. Four things of bacon. He was using a lot of bacon as well. Um, two things of scrapple here for breakfast. We needed more sugar. I got some olives. I've been wanting olives. Cameron wants to make pizza tonight. So we can put some olives on there. Kylie was wanting Spam. I, I'm pretty sure this is just like their Aldi knockoff version of Spam. 
hopefully. I don't know. So she wanted it for something. She made like a kimchi fried rice last night and it needed spam. We didn't have it, but now we have some to use for whatever. Yeah, she used chicken instead and then made some shrimp with it. I needed some tomato sauce. Some recipes I call, like they need that. So I've been using like tomato paste and water, but I got a couple things of tomato sauce and a couple more things of tomato paste. Two things of decaf coffee because um, she has been making coffee drinks in the morning and I am have her use decaf. She picked this. We needed hummus. See, okay. We needed some hummus and I usually get the individual packets, but I guess she couldn't find any. So this is like a four pack. It has classic roasted red pepper, roasted garlic, and cilantro. Wait, what is it? Cilantro jalapeno. So that will be like a good dip. These are normally really expensive. I feel like they're like five or six dollars at a regular grocery store. It was like two eighty dollars or something there. So she got that Caesar salad. I've also been craving carbonated stuff. I have a whole thing of Zevia from Sam's Club, but um, I figured like to try some without sugar. So I got this brand. It's actually like, there's 12. I think it was like $3 or something at Aldi. Um, this lemon sparkling water. So we'll try that. We got a bunch of produce to restock. We have a ton of apples, but we needed some more bananas, shrooms. I got some green grapes. These blueberries looked really good. That's from a family farm. I don't know. We got some mangoes Kylie wanted. Lemons. Cameron's been doing fresh, like lemonade. Well, not fresh. The powder lemonade, but putting lemons in it. And yeah, so we needed some more lemons for that. We got some regular oranges, some cilantro. I like that Aldi now does herbs. Some of the recipes I've been using has called for cilantro. So I got some of that. Some carrots we've been out and then mini cucumbers. Oh, and some more um, lettuce for like salads and stuff. And then that pineapple, of course. Um, I got another thing of whole milk. We've been getting some stuff from the farm, like raw milk and whole milk. For case, and I'm not giving raw milk to the baby, um, but whole milk. I only ordered one this time, so I needed another one for him. We were almost out of rice, so I got two things of rice. I found this keto dinner rolls. They look good. Six grams of protein. I don't know how many carbs are in here. 13 grams of carb for one roll. But there's 11 grams of fiber, so I guess that's two net carbs, right? So, I don't know. I figured I'd throw those in the freezer for a night that I need dinner rolls. I got another, and this kind of got smashed. But their keto bread is really good. We've been getting the white, but I got tried the wheat this time. So, there's, it's a small loaf for like 480 ish I think. But um, we don't need a ton of bread and sandwiches and stuff. So, I figured we just get another loaf of that. We needed some more red sauce. This organic marinara is really good from Aldi. And it's like, I want to say like $1.80 or $2 compared to like Rayos, which is like $6. Um, but this tastes good. It's organic. So we got that. We got a couple things of pepperoni. Two bags of mozzarella. We need some for his pizza tonight he wants to make. But also um, just to have. We were almost out of lemon juice. I think we're running low. We use lemon juice a lot. And we needed some more sliced cheese. So I got mild cheddar and provolone just for like sandwiches or whatever this was kind of like a little splurge see these yogurts there's eight of these um i said these can be for like dessert and then here's the four things of eggs that i got when we were in line we were in line i don't know who put the eggs next to the baby the toddler um but he knocked off the cart of eggs i was trying to catch them and make sure he wouldn't fall out and it went everywhere but one egg was safe it fell in the cart and it was crazy but i had to walk back with him to get a new cart of crate carton whatever it's called of eggs <laughs>
bought a new plant. You guys ready to see it? It's so tall, it barely fits. It comes in this cute little aesthetic container and you just like plant it. So it's like permanently in there now. I'll show you again. For all of this stuff and me and this. The total was, drum roll. Oh yeah, there you go. This. Five billion dollars. $265.85. It's not bad. I don't know, I don't feel like it was that bad for like all the meat and stuff we got. I mean, I feel like we got a good bit of meat and snacky stuff, which I know is more. So yeah, that was a good stock up for us and I'm gonna put it all away now. And um, let me know how much you guys are spending on groceries for where you guys live. This is gonna last us probably a couple weeks. Not necessarily the produce, some of it might. Um, the meat, well, we have a deep freezer out in the garage, so we put some of that away. So we're not gonna go through, the snacks will last us for a while too. Um, the eggs will probably go through in like a week. Some of the stuff we go through faster than others, but some of this will have, so it'll last us a few weeks. Um, and then we might just have to fill in here and there. But yeah, that's pretty much everything we got. I'm gonna put it all away for you. I have to reconfigure my fridge. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time.